needed to check. I'm on live. Checking my knitage. Knitage check. Now uploading Benny Franks, Parquet, Taylor Boys, behind the scenes. Footage filmed on the low end of Chicago. Go check that out. The video um, has been uploaded for a couple days now. It seems to be a big hit on the channel. Go check that out too. Welcome to the live chat. Remember to guard your privacy and abide by our community guidelines. Y'all share this joint as y'all come in here. What up, what up? We on the night shift. Crook, it's a verb. What up? Peace. Good evening. Make sure y'all go check out that Fresh Taylor Boys content. Good evening to you too, Triple M. What up? the like button as y'all come in here. Took a nap earlier after I uploaded. Went to work out. Y'all know how that go. He said, already done. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Gully TV one I follow back over there. Trying to build my Twitter following. It's called X now, but... Sky Swizzy. I just came in to stick my head in here. Check the temperature. On a night shift. I've been thinking about launching the morning dribble again. Pillmatic 2 on the way. It's not a threat, it's a promise. <laughs> it's finally done, man. That was tedious. I don't think I'm going to be making no more music after this, man. It's got to deal with too many personalities. And the, um, the, the streaming, we getting less than a penny per stream. It might not be worth my while. For real. Came to check everybody's temperature. I was looking at the news earlier. They just booked a guy in uh, Baltimore for a seven-year-old police killing. Motherfuckers be in a hurry to go to that penitentiary, y'all. For real. Your biological clock, it don't stop, it don't stop ticking when they sentence you, man. You get there, you start aging at an accelerated rate. For real, it's dark. Look like these here notifications taking their time going out. Either that or y'all sleep already. We still gonna rock out though. What's going on, people? Been uploading y'all dope content all week. I hope y'all appreciate it. I got some things up my sleeve. More hip hop, sports, and fashion. Heavy on the hip hop. He said, you've been looking at the Iran-Israel war. I see it's a big topic, but I don't be giving it none of my attention, man. I don't think them people care about what's going on with us. So, nope. We, um, we happen to be at war here in the United States. It's a war on Negroes. I did um, look at... Um, I did look at uh, the uh, the flooding in Dubai. If you ever been to Dubai, it ain't nothing but um, it's nothing but desert over there. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but desert. So much desert that you know the same way somebody would go skiing in the Colorado Rockies. They have sand skiing and shit. Well, 
uh, you go down a fucking hill on a sled and shit, and it's mountains of sand and shit. It's totally desert, and right now it's flooded over there. I heard that they got a rain machine that went haywire and uh, fucked with the clouds, and now it's flooded over there. You have to been over there to understand the, uh, the severity of what I'm saying right now. I'm talking about it's definitely hot in Dubai. You can't really come outside until like, like 8, 9 at night, 10 at night, some shit like that. That's when the, the weather start breaking to where it's, you, you can tolerate it and shit. It's the real desert. They really put a city. It's like they drop New York City in the middle of the desert. It's hot as a motherfucker. Gully looking healthier without the smoke. Yeah, uh, the director from my latest movie and shit, he told me my skin's looking a lot clearer. I'm feeling that. Can't wait to get back in front of the camera. He said, I, f I heard that too about artificial rain over there. That's crazy. They be, uh, it's called something seed, and they be dropping some shit in the clouds from airplanes and shit, and they kind of agitate the clouds and make the clouds start sneezing, basically. Cloud seeding. Yeah. yeah. Cloud seeding. And they didn't cause the flood over there, man. They cars is over there floating and shit like that. <laughs> They wasn't prepared for that. It's probably a good thing overall that they get a little water because it's nothing but desert over there. But too much water equals a flood. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> what up, Mr. Dribble? Been watching lives all day at work. Sharp. Thank you. You said them Lambos ain't ready for that. Yeah, they got a lot of Lambos over there, Rolls Royces and shit. Um, they don't got no taxi cabs. They got car services and shit. If you going anywhere over there, a Maybach comes and pick you up. Like, I went to the mall. Maybach came and picked me up from my hotel, dropped me off. When you get out of, when you're done shopping, you come back outside. The same way that we worry and wait on um, the ride share, the Ubers and shit like that. Maybach come and pick you up. He said he got zapped for that wild comment. That wasn't a wild comment. It was a waste of everybody's time and shit. You know what I'm saying? When somebody retarded, you got to deal with them as such. Shit, you don't exchange dialogue with a motherfucker that's retarded. His was gold real cheap over there. I didn't, um really tap into no jewelry or nothing like that but I was in the mall when you go in a Louis store and shit they bring you um they bring you a cup of tea <laughs> they bring you a cup of tea when you're in a Louis store man they got a uh, they got like waiters in the Louis store and shit they come and give you some more d'oeuvres and some tea and shit like that it's a real rich nigga experience Cleveland what up Yeah, they bring you tea, hot tea. They ask you what you want. They cater to you big time. I'm going with Devin Haney, pimp. Got to go with the fighter that I'm more familiar with. I ain't familiar with Garcia all like that. The Knicks and the Sixers. Round one. I'm going with the Knicks. He said the best editing app. Sony Vegas is good and easy. I used to be an expert at Vegas before I went on the um, Final Cut. I'm on Final Cut Pro now and shit. Vegas was the shit. I could still use use Vegas. I think I, I did Haitian Jack Speaks with Sony Vegas. It's the first joint that I started to dominate after I um, graduated from Windows Movie Maker. Go check out that video I just uploaded. Original shit. I was in the low end with the Taylor boys. I'm glad y'all loving that video when it's war with um 
Benny and Parquet. That's all new to y'all. They've been out a long time. They've been out probably like 20 years and shit. They from the Midwest, so, so we wasn't exposed to it. Gully TV, you get that type of content. Be all over the map with it. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Make sure y'all follow me on IG. You don't want to miss nothing. A lot of shit that I be involved with. It takes shape on IG first. You don't want to get left out. So go over there and follow me. I got my other jack in my hand. I'm going to see who follow. Give you a shout out if you go over there now. That's exactly where I'm at. I'm using CapCut and Windows. Thanks. I'm buying a hat this week. That's what's up. You got a new documentary coming. Yeah, I promised y'all Shaheen Franklin story. I'm still working on that. I just got some animation. It's, it's, it's segments of it, just cartoons and shit. So, yeah, I've been trying to expand my expertise. I've been working with animation lately. Shout out to Kendio. That's my animation guy. Gotta get me some nits for the summer. Sunburn knit is fire. Oh, you the one got that sunburn joint? I just had to take that off the site today. It was a one of one and somehow I forgot that it was sold, but make sure you send some um make sure you send some uh some pictures to uh Instagram hashtag at PA knit I find you. I be um I check the hashtags every uh every few days and shit so you can't hide. If if, if I'm not following you or you not following me, we'll find each other through the hashtags. Sully, what up? Reg, what up? Good evening. I just got done working. Got done editing and shit. Boom. He said, I can't believe Gully ain't drop a bill a beard oil yet. I'd use this, um forget the name of it. That's why my shit looking all bushy right now. Forget that it's growing out. It's just growing and growing and growing. I forget the name of it, but it, it looked like shea butter. It's a butter. It's beard butter. That's what it is. That oil and shit get all over your pillows and shit like that. But I can't believe I had a beard so long it wasn't using no moisturizer. You got to take care of this shit like an afro. <laughs> Word. He said that the Lakers take down the Nuggets, they Western Conference Finals champs. I'm glad we getting getting right to that business right away. You got to deal with a problem right away. You know what I'm saying? They don't need to meet them in the Western Conference Finals. We need to meet them while we fresh. Go ahead and deal with that. He said, it ain't gonna happen. We gotta win game one. Most importantly, and if not, we'll take game two, but game one, that's like punching them in the face. Let's see if we can steal that. They don't got that Bruce Brown nigga no more. He the one that was raised in hell. Uh, the Joker, you know, he did his thing. He kept giving up 30 and 40 and shit like that. But it's the supporting cash. You got you to gotta put the clamps on the rest of them niggas. He said, I feel like the Lakers are about to kick up. I hope so. Best interview you ever done. Uh, I don't know. Right now, probably one of my basketball joints. Oh, it's, it wasn't so much an interview, but the time I was in um, I was in Georgia Tech. I slid through Georgia Tech. That's my favorite video. Was in there shooting the lights out like Dennis Scott. He said that set the turn tone tone for the first game win. Gotta beat him in game one. For real. That Sixers game uh, against the. Who was it against the Heat? That was a boring ass game until the final period and shit. Zion is hurt again. 
Zion got that big ass body, man. It's hard on your knees, man, jumping around like that and shit like that. Nigga gotta lose weight or he gonna stay injured. He says, so Gibbs is out of content. Not only is he out of content, he's out of his goddamn mind. <laughs> That's what I came here for. I was waiting on that comment. That nigga out of his goddamn mind, yo. Doom, doom, doom. Jimmy Buckets is hurt, too. He's out for the next three weeks. I think that probably put an end to their campaign. He said, you dropped gems on your last live. Stay away from crash outs. Yeah, man, you got some niggas that suicidal. They ain't got no sense. They a detriment to themselves. So don't get mixed up in they mix, yo. I seen somebody say something like Sean Branch was a serial killer or something like that. No, he's not. Sean Branch beat 10 murders and shit. 10 murder cases. Don't sound like he's a serial killer to me. He beat all them goddamn cases. Sound like they had the wrong man. He gonna sell a book with the page cut out. Nah, he didn't sell it to me. He gave it to me for free. He asked me, did I, could I, you know, accept it? And, you know, here's my book. Like, it, it was like he was introducing himself to me. And he did. And I read it. And I know that he's a Looney Tune. I'm taking the heat tomorrow. They don't got Jimmy Buckets. I'm warning you. If you feel that they can win without him, cool. But that nigga hurt for the next couple weeks, man. By the time he come back, they might be done. He's hurt a lot. What was on that page? I believe it, it has something to do with Fat Cat. The Fat Cat organization in Queens. Something he didn't want me to read. He still ain't gave anybody no explanation on why he cut it out. Do y'all know why he cut it out? Why do y'all think he cut it out? He already told us that he was in the witness protection program and you know, we know that he, 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 he told on a lot of people. We already know all of that. So why did he cut it out? Don't make no sense. If you wanted to hide something from a motherfucker, you shouldn't have wrote it in the book. They banned that nigga for life. He only made 21000 He was making over $2 million as a player and got banned for life for gambling. Um, he was flat busted, man. The nigga was fake and sick and all of that kind of shit. That's probably what put him on his ass. your take on a G-Unit film studio in Shreveport. I ain't hip. He said, is that Terry Porter, son? Do you think more players are doing that? It's so accessible now. If you're doing it, it's an it's a indication of greed. Like, you're playing against somebody that you know you're going to blow out, bet on yourself. Probably was... Why don't you just have one of your cousins make the bet or one of your people make the bet? Like, you shouldn't have nothing to do with it because if they find out, you're going to get banned for life like Pete Rose. He said maybe he told on somebody. Jordan took two years off of that shit. Porter ain't playing for Denver. He's a factor, too. Good basketball shoot, Air Raid, Nike Air Raid. He said, you can't use your personal email and there can't be any paper traces or loose lips. Just tell one of your uncles or somebody, man, you might want to bet on this game tonight. We about to blow these niggas out. He wasn't savvy enough. They busted him. He got busted. Some mustard or something. He can go get some change in China. 
He got to find a new destination. It won't be the NBA. He done fucked that all up. Maybe he should sell his jersey. He known as the nigga that got banned from the league. Banned for life. Call the jersey banned for life. Motherfucker might buy that. He should put it on the back. Banned for life. I've had like 10 pair of air raids. I buy them every, whenever they come out, the black and gray ones. Air raid one. The black and gray ones, the ones Tim Hardaway was rocking. Whenever they come out. The amount that they betted set it off a red flag. Does PA Knit do custom work with deposits? Yeah. He said he got to prepare his rep. White metallic. And man, you bugging my nigga. <laughs> you look like a solid gold dancer. Black, royal, blue, and white. Oh, yeah, them razors, I. Right. He said, I pay for whatever. Them is classics. I just I just uh, played in a pair in um, Oakland. I was in this celebrity basketball game. I got busy too. We lost in overtime. Air Raid need to feature an air bubble. They wouldn't be originals no more. I want the Nike Air Force STS to come back. Why do you think so many players are getting leg, ankle, knee injuries this season? Is it the shoes or the playing style? A lot of cats playing in low top sneakers now. Niggas well over 200 pounds and shit like that. It was a um, time with low, low top sneakers and basketball. Low top sneakers is like fear. Like before you even went to go pick up a pair of sneaks. They made it a point of you getting a basketball shoe that went above your ankle. And they playing in all type of style of shit now, so, you know. They don't condition themselves. Hmm. He said they eating like rabbits, no bust, mu no muscle or bone integrity, no ankle support. What do you think about Reebok? We never stopped wearing Reeboks. Reeboks are still dope to us. Younger niggas think that they corny or something like that, but I grew up rocking Reeboks. I just was in South Beach like last summer, Reebok down, short set, um, tank top and the kicks. Flossing. They play too much and practice too much. What's wrong with practicing? They smoking, eating, barely practicing. What made you become a journalist? It wasn't called um, a journalist when I started out because I wasn't on camera. It didn't take a bunch of investigative shit. I, I won't say I, I didn't become a journalist till I start interviewing them, them, um, them gangster niggas and shit. Like, you had to do homework on them guys. And um, once I got my skill set, they come from doing um, book reports. Back in the day, it was this program called the Book It Program. And you would do a book report and you would earn yourself a pizza and shit. I grew up doing book, book reports and shit. So I started to approach the people that I was interviewing like I was doing a book report. And that's where the, uh, the journalism shit came from, doing research and shit like that. Like if you want a dope interview or a dope piece of content, it helps to use an ink pen. You know what I mean? Write some shit down. He said, I miss Book It. Yeah, Book It was the shit. Give Glaze a pass. Man, I don't want nothing to do with him. I wasn't trying to cause that nigga no detriment. Not until he start lying that I 
have to open fire on him and shit. He talking about I reached out to him. And I ain't reached out to you. I ain't reached out to no fucking killers. No, you stop lying and shit. Even the Alpo situation. When I interviewed Ears to Christ and the niggas from D.C., then Alpo became something on my agenda and shit. He was trying to get to me like I was trying to get to him. But I didn't want to talk about him killing Rich Porter or killing Demencio. Me and Demencio's son, that's my guy and shit. We good people. He been on his channel and shit. So my whole thing with uh, Alpo was to talk about Teddy Riley, Bismarck, and LL Cool J. Alpo's a part of hip hop. Sean Branch, published author. And he beat 10 murder cases. I thought that that was dope. Teflon Don type shit. But I wasn't campaigning to be around no goddamn killers and shit like that. He said, you absolutely closed the door on the 80s and 90s street stories. Yeah, I don't even be fucking with that shit no more. He said, I remember back in the day, Pizza Hut would give out free pizzas for book reports. Yeah, that's how I got sharp uh, doing book reports, the booking program. They gave out the personal pan pizza. I was trying to knock down like a pizza, you know, like three pizzas a week. He said something about, um, it has something to do with Fat Cat. If y'all keep asking me, I'm going to go look into it and tell you exactly what the fuck he cut up out of there. My man, Ken Intelligent, he one of the moderators on his channel. He bought the book. He sent me a screenshot of it, and I looked at everything that was at the top of the page and everything that was on the, the following page after he cut it out. I said, he's talking about Fat Cat. It's something about Fat Cat. Book it program had young black men showing their brilliance. Pizza Hut was the shit in the 80s, yo. There wasn't so many pizza franchises and shit. Like, when I hear people say the Pizza Hut ain't no good, I don't respect it. <laughs> I don't respect it, man. I love Pizza Hut, man. Pizza Hut was that shit. That cheese was so, so chewy and fulfilling, man. You crazy. A reward system. Uh-oh. Uh, Sean, I almost booked you, man. Shooting at somebody else. I almost shot you. He said, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. That's the problem with greed. Poe was a different foul. Everybody was enjoying Al Poe when he was on the Internet. The numbers show he was a favorite online. So, how you feel about him, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? He said, I saw a pizza hut and pulled over, had to have it. Yeah, we come up in the air when um, the pizza hut had the dining room and shit with, with, the, um, with the salad bar and all of that type of shit. You know what I mean? You don't see them joints no more all like that. might have some Pizza Hut tomorrow. I like they crust, too. He said with the salad bar. Hell yeah. That was um that was our reward, man, for football and wrestling and shit like that. Like, track. I, I ran a bunch of... I played a bunch of fucking sports and shit. And that was, the, that was the destination after the football games or, you know, you won a championship. That was the reward. You get a trophy and a motherfucking pizza party. The pizza party going down that fucking pizza hut. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said, them red bumpy cups. Yeah. The Jellystone Park tablecloths. Adidas Continentals. Like, not offhand.
Good evening, everybody. Y'all forgive um, Brother Gibbs. That's what I call him, Brother Gibbs. He still ain't told nobody why he cut that page out that book. You know, he's going to go on rants and shit. He said, you was real surgical the way you broke down Glaze. He sl seemed slow. He is slow. You wrote a book and you put something in the book that you didn't want nobody to see and published it. That's fucking slow. Um, you killed a bunch of motherfuckers. That's fucking slow. Do you know what type of fucking forensic science and all type of shit? When you kill a motherfucker, you testing your brain and your aptitude against a whole judicial system. Like 2,000 brains. You know what I'm saying? You rolling the dice, you playing with your life and shit. Like, just as show as you took a motherfucker life. You playing with your life because you can get away a thousand times. All they got to do is catch you once and they gonna give you a thousand years and shit. So the choice is yours. Boom, 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 boom. He said they had the table, Miss Pac, man. Showing your age, man. This is the Donkey Kong. Pizza Hut gave away to NCAA Final Four basketballs, too. He didn't have enough sense to try to sell his book because the book is good. It's like reading a black cowboy movie. You know what I'm saying? He could have just got on and said, if you want to see what I cut out the book, buy it. That's simple. He said, the problem is you got to get through some shit to gain that wisdom. No, you don't. All you got to do is watch TV, watch the news. You can watch another motherfucker get a life sentence. Wayne Perry, he got five of them. Uh, Rod Diggs, he's in ADX. I think he got like 200 years or some shit like that. Uh, your homeboy that you grew up with that shot a motherfucker. Didn't they put his ass away forever? So you don't got to experience that. You can watch somebody else crash out and say, I ain't going to do that because I know what they're going to do to you. They're going to give you 200 years. I respect how you made that conversation about fashion and not the genocide. Glaze is a, a fly nigga. He was rocking that shit. He was. He was rocking that shit, man. I ain't had nothing bad to say about that nigga, man. Besides, I didn't want I didn't want to tell his story. Your story is a bunch of fucking killing. I don't want nothing to do with that. The people that you killed, their families are still around and shit like that. I just watched your other video behind the scenes. It's dope. Fuck with that. He ain't got no sense, man. You know, leave a man alone and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then he tried to, tried to act like he don't be blowing up my line. He been blowing up my line for over a year, man, trying to get back on his platform. What am I going to talk to you about? You done already shot your load, fam. And I don't even too much do that content. No more motherfucker come in here every day and say, yo, you should interview this person. You should interview that person. You should interview Terrence Gangster Williams. You should interview this person. I don't want nothing to do with them niggas. I don't. Al Poe closed the curtain on that whole genre, that whole subject. Al Poe was the, that was the curtain call. It ain't a motherfucker that could arrive. Pablo Escobar, Big Meech, Craig Pettis. Al Poe was the dude. That was the story. And after that, there will be no more. Straight up. Any hoop leagues this summer? I plan on hooping this summer. I just was hooping the other day. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at I am golly TV underscore. I remember people used to get on here and ask me, could I hoop? Can, can you really hoop? You always talking that basketball shit. Till I start putting in that burden. 
I was really thinking Alpo wasn't dead. He's dead to us. We we not gonna see him anymore. And not only that, that nigga liked it, the camera. He liked it, the spotlight. He wouldn't have gave that up for nothing, for nobody. I seen Nas and Primo working together again. Leon Muhammad, Temple 12. Do -do 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 -do. Make sure y'all follow me on IG. Shout out to Gita K. Uploaded one of his new freestyles today. Gita around. Age and height for your first dunk. I was probably like 5'11". I started dunking for the first time in like the ninth grade, the summer of the ninth or tenth grade or something like that. Before I was really punching on niggas, I used to spray this shit called stick them on my hands and shit. That, you don't see that no more. I know they outlawed it in the NFL, but it was some shit called stick them that wide receivers used to spray on their hands and shit. And you'll be able to palm the ball. I used to spray stick them on my hand and shit. Punch the fuck out that shit. But then I started to really, you know, I started dunking on niggas a lot in jail. Because I was in jail in, you know, high school. I went to jail in high school and shit. He said, Gully versus Gilly the kid. I dogged the fuck out of Gilly. Bony ass. He too little. Oskino and Charleston White. O didn't like what he said about Gilly's son. O didn't like what he said. He said them NFL DBs used to wear stick them. Yeah, it's, it's illegal now and shit. They started, it might have been illegal the whole time, but motherfuckers started getting busted. Um, you will see old video footage of wide receivers. They'll catch the ball and score a touchdown, and they'll try to spike the ball, and the motherfucking ball wouldn't leave their hand and shit. Like, it's stuck to their hand. They have to pry the shit off their fucking hand and shit. Once that shit start happening, they made it illegal. I ain't seen stick them in a long time. <laughs> it came in an aerosol can and shit. It was a little can. Favorite point guard, Magic Johnson, hands down. After Magic, I say Kenny Anderson. You had to been there to see Kenny Anderson in college, man. Kenny Anderson was the big show for real. Pretty Dre, thank you. Nas and Preem join all right. The beat could have been better. Well, my plate done. <laughs> my plate done. He said magic over Isaiah. That ain't even close. Isaiah couldn't fuck with magic. Magic six foot nine, man. The move against Hurley changed the game. I reenacted that move in Georgia Tech on this very channel. Go check it out. He said magic over Isaiah. Like that's a comp, some comp. <laughs> I'm hungry, y'all. I got to get up off here, man. I've been working and shit. Shouldn't be eating this late, but I'm hungry. I'm out of here, man. I holla at y'all in the morning. Do you know Nux? Hell yeah, I interviewed him. That's my nigga. Lamar Castile, he on his channel. Do 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 do. Go check it out. It's called King of the Hill. All right. Peace.